Vicky here from Switch Sticks. I thought it'd be useful if I gave you a little demonstration just as if you were in front of me now and showed you how Switch Sticks work. The Switch Stick comes with the wrist strap and the Velcro band. The Velcro band holds it together when it's folded. Now I never undo the Velcro band because it's much easier just to squeeze the stick together and pull it off. I also advise retailers to pop it onto the wrist strap if they're displaying the stick open so that they can find it when they sell the stick. So once you've taken the uh, Velcro band off, to open the stick, you take the top section and the bottom section. You must hold those two so that when it flicks out, obviously you've got it completely in control and you're not going to uh, basically injure anybody. Uh, now it's not going to injure anybody, so don't worry about that, but just make sure you're opening it very carefully. Now, next thing is to alter the height. This safety locking band is really, really important. To, to alter the height, you basically give it a half turn, like so. Once you've loosened that, you can then push in the pin and pull the stick down. Now to pull the stick down, once you've pushed that pin in, like so, you then go just, just below the safety locking band, but above the first section, and you pull the stick. Like so. And then you can see the pin has gone from the first hole to the second hole. They're in one inch increments, adjusting from 32 to 37 inches, and they do fit most people. One thing to point out is you can remove the ferrule on the base and cut up to three inches off the stick for somebody who's quite tiny, but that's just an option. Now, when you're doing a demonstration, it is sometimes possible to uh, push the pin in, and if you pull the bottom quite vigorously, you can end up, basically, you can see the pin under here, and uh, you basically pull the stick apart. Now, if that happens, it's not a problem. You actually need to do that to remove the wrist strap anyway. So you simply take the safety locking band off. You have to unscrew it completely. Once it's unscrewed, you must identify this small piece of plastic. This is a washer that sits inside the stick, or it sits inside the safety locking band. So putting it back together, first thing you do, you put the safety locking band on, put it over the pin, and then you get this little plastic piece and you pop it in, oops, basically little plastic piece, pop it in there so it's actually inside the safety locking band below the pin and then you put the top back on. As I say, if you want to change the wrist strap or anything you'd be doing this anyway. So absolutely not a problem and then you find the little hole and you pop the pin in. Then absolutely critical, you must tighten this band. When you tighten it, if you tighten it so it's absolutely secure, then uh, if you catch this little pin, the stick can't go up or down. It's a safety feature and it's very important that it is retightened. Now, to fold the stick, I'm just going to put it back up. Uh, you don't have to put it back up to fold it at all, but I'm just going to show you. Basically, for the stick, I'm right-handed, so I put the stick top in my left hand, this bit here, I give it a small turn, this, this first section, a small turn, at the same time I'm pulling it. It's just like a tent pole, and you pull it apart, you feed it into your left hand. Then I take the next section, again a small turn, pull it apart, feed it into your hand. Final section, small turn, pull it apart, feed it into your hand. Now the turn is actually releasing if there's been pressure on the stick, so it's releasing those joints. You can also tap the ferrule on the floor and that also releases if there's been any seal. So it's important to know those two. Now, just to retrieve this, the uh, Velcro band, you obviously can pop that back on then and as you can see, because I haven't undone it, it's easy just to pop on and then the little carry bag, which again is in the box, you can just pop it away into the carry bag and off you go, put it in your trunk or wherever. That's the main walking stick. We have little accessories as well which you know. We have the table rest. Now this table rest, this table rest, you basically pull it apart, you need to be a little bit strong, pull it apart like so and then you pop it onto the stick. Once it's on the stick you can move it up and down if you're at a counter, you can basically sit it on a counter, which is great, or if 
you're on a table, we always recommend, obviously you have the ferrule on the floor and you can put it flush with the table. You turn it so the handle is over the table, so the weight of the stick is over the table and then it will sit just nicely at right angles uh, and not, uh, not move. The wrist strap as well, obviously if you're paying for something or at a counter, that also plays that same role. That's the little table rest. And then we also have the ice grip. Now the ice grip is a perfect little attachment for ice wintry conditions, just giving a little bit of reassurance. So this has two Phillips screws that it comes with and two that are also in the packet. So it will fit any walking stick and it actually fits a number of crutches as well. That you basically screw, you take it apart here and then you screw it onto the bottom of the stick like so. So obviously it's actually attached to the stick. And then when you go indoors, you basically squeeze these two pieces together and then you flip it up so it doesn't spoil your floor or carpet when you're indoors. Very popular, very clever little gadget. Finally, the ferrules, they can also be changed. So they wear just like, um, just like shoes wear and you simply have to pull that, you, you rock it and pull it off and change it as and when needed. Now, I think virtually everything I've said is in the little booklet that comes in the box. So you can um, obviously have a read of this. It tells you how to work out the length, how to change the height, how to change the uh, wrist strap. So obviously do have a look at that. And again, if you've got any questions on switch sticks, just give me a call. And there's also a demo on the hiking pole if you want to have a look at that.